Hello, 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 everyone. Kim from KNRP here. Today it's sunny, but we're supposed to be getting snow, and it's supposed to snow right through Wednesday. So winter has not let up yet. I have not yet started my bedding plants. I don't think spring's ever going to come. Today on my live, I had a couple of ideas of what I would like to do. That being said, I did post that I want to use my ransom letters, but before I get into that, I think I'm going to show you an idea that I've come up with. I haven't decided exactly how to implement it, but it's in the works. When I make my, hey, Jen, welcome, welcome. Hi, Barbara. I, I make all kinds of little bits. I've got my fairy houses. I've got the cats. I've got whatever. But I have all these little bits. So because I make so many of them, I, I have a hard time deciding how to store them. So the way I had been doing that was I was doing it in folded papers and and just storing stuff like this but i can't see them so i'm not using them i have them in the little sandwich bags they're everywhere as i clean i'm coming across more and more stuff that i have created and and they're just kind of under things because they're not organized so I love this idea. I have also seen how people use, um, hey, Sherry, Barbara, Jan, nice to have you guys here. Look, it's all us Winnipeggers. Jan now lives in BC, but she's from Winnipeg. And it's kind of cool having a Winnipeg contingent here. I like it. I like it. I like it. So back to these, these little bits and, and storing them like this. I have seen people using sheet protectors to do that. I find that the plastic is very staticky and just annoys me. So I found these wonderful envelopes. They are, I don't know, nine by six or something. And they're a lovely envelope with a great big window. So I'm going to start keeping all my little bits in these envelopes. I haven't decided if I'm going to put them in a uh, binder. The thing being is that if you put them on a page, they have to go this way. So if I've got this in the binder, then I have to, you know, do it. But anyway... I've decided to go to these kinds of envelopes. They're a little bit more expensive than I would have liked, but I'm thinking I can reuse them and because this this just really isn't working for me. I I just, you know, and, and seriously, I've got envelopes tucked in here because I want to know what's in them and not working, not working at all. So I found the envelopes, and as I said, they're a little bit more expensive than I would normally spend, but to me, they seem to make a little bit more sense for what I need them for. I know that not everybody has the same amount of stuff that I do because I make something different every day, but seriously, with this big size window, I think that's going to be just exactly, exactly what I would use. And they're a craft paper. Hey, Kellyanne, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just on a rant about how I'm storing my Kimbits because the plastic bags don't work for me. Those blue paper fold-ups that I've got. Barbara, exactly. Exactly. So I bought these envelopes, Cal. They're a little bit more expensive. I got them on Amazon. 
normally I wouldn't spend the kind of money on this, but I really do need something. And as you know, I have been cleaning and I have been looking for these silly little houses. I made these little fairy houses quite a while ago and I have been looking for them and I finally found them. So I really do need to get a handle on where my stuff is and what I'm doing. So I had to show off these envelopes because I'm really thrilled with them. So I'm working on that 100-day project, and I'm not getting as far as I thought I would. I'm on day 30-something, <laughs> 35, 36. I'm behind anyway. So, yeah, for the die cuts and things. But like I say, because they're bigger... I have to, I'm going to have them in a box probably, but if I put them on paper in a binder, you know, then I can turn the pages, but they're, they're a decent size because, you know, with my Goonie birds, they're bigger. So I needed something that would help with all my stuff. So I was doing some doodling the other day. You can't see it very well because I'm using black on red and I think I should switch to white ink. So that was part of my bazillion day challenge, 100 day creative challenge. I will get this page finished. As I say, I'm behind. I am trying to organize and work on my space. That's a slow process, but it's coming. So while I was doing things, I also came across, I have a stack of these. These are... Um, for in picture frames. I know what it is. Map boards for the picture frames. And because I used to do a lot of selling, I have stacks of this size and stacks by 8 by 10. These are 4 by 6, 3 by 5, 5 by 7, 5 by 7s. And I remember Robin McClendon saying to have something like this, and then when you have a print, you can see what you want to keep from the print if you want to frame it. But I thought, what a great idea. I'm going to start using this because something like this, it was, it was, they painted with string and then I got them to roll painted marbles in a box and you shake it up and you get the other lines. So it gives a very interesting background, but I'm thinking like that is too thick and heavy. I want something a little bit more wispy. So having a piece of cardboard or something with a window cut out is really going to help you just make some decisions on what you're keeping, what you're going to use for backgrounds, what you're going to fold up and use for various other things when you've got gel prints. So enough of my rambling. I'm finding stuff all over the place. I also found what we're going to be doing today. I love ransom letters. I want to do an entire alphabet with ransom letters because I was thinking of that's a corner, you know, a corner for a page. But I cut out all these letters ages ago to cover with ransom letters. I got a couple done. My L isn't complete yet. But that's kind of what I thought. Do I have a link for those window envelopes? I can certainly put that underneath, Cal. There's another corner. One. I will definitely, definitely put the link for those window envelopes below. They're nice and sturdy. Like, it's it's a thicker craft paper, you know. I'm, I'm really happy with them. They just got delivered right before I started, so I haven't done much with them. And I have an R. I thought I had a T, but it doesn't look like I've got one. So I've been talking about doing my Goonie Bird kids book. And what I had thought was taking the letter, because I want to do it alphabet style, alliterative. I thought that I would start working on these kinds of letters. I've done this in the past with people 
I've got them to do these letters and we've framed them and given them to their parents for Mother's Day, Father's Day, that kind of thing. So anyway, this is kind of what I want to work on today. I want to do corner pieces with letters and the letters and visit and chat. If that's okay with you guys. Are these backwards to you? I look at my screen and they're backwards. I will definitely put that link in though. So, okay. I do have letters cut up. So since my A is complete and my R is complete, I'm going to work on the L. So those are my L's. Nope, right way. Okay. Good, good, good. I've realized before that it looked backwards, but I don't really pay too much attention. But today, because I'm actually using the letters, I found that it's a little... So basically, I just take all my letters. I've, I keep them in little cups. This is part of my organization dilemma. I've got this bin, this box, with all my little cups of letters in, and I have knocked it over so many times. I have to do something with it. I really do. So using up the letters to get these done is my first start. So... I'm just going to glue on and visit with you guys. How's your weekend going, Barbara? Were you away? Like, I know that you haven't been around, but I didn't know if you... This is a dead glue. I didn't know if you were away or... Doing other stuff. And then I just glue them on. I just find a letter and I glue it on. And I cover up my underneath bit. And yeah, some of them have a little bit of extra paper around them. I just will then cover it with the next letter. Nice. Nice, nice. It has been blowy and windy here. You haven't missed much. Just going to trim this one down a little bit. I'm going to stick it in there. Yeah, somebody was asking at Janet Nash's um, live if anybody had seen you. They were quite concerned. So I asked Sherry and she said you wouldn't be back until April. So, you have a following, Barbara. That's very cool. They really, really missed you around. Oh, I also wanted to show you. I attached my tassel and one of those heart dangles to my crazy uh, journal. So the heart dangle worked pretty nice. I like the way it hangs, and I really do like the tassel. This is the, I did this tassel following Janet Nash. And so I just added both of them to this journal. And this tassel, I, I am going to call this one complete. It's a snippet tassel. I don't know that I'm going to snip anything off of it, but... It's definitely capable of having things cut off and added into the journal if I so wish. It's kind of funny because that's my peace, love, understanding, and sarcasm journal. And my grandson, when he was here for supper yesterday, he was sitting on the table because I had just put the tassel and stuff on and he starts flipping through it and he's going, Grammy, some of these things are rude. And it's like, well, yeah, it's, you know, Sarcasm, snark, you know, it's <laughs> had a very nice visit with him. We played cards and 
I had a, a lovely visit after supper. The card game that we played involved a lot of shuffling. And so my hands are not very happy today due to the shuffling. So I had to find something just easy to do. Because you're a lovely lady, Barbara. Oh, there's a big C on that side. I like the C and a big L. Very hard to see the L, but I will cut it down. It's hard to see. How's your Afghan coming, Kel? And your vest, Jan? You guys are all busy making woolly things and... I am not. Well, I did the hearts, but. Afghans do take forever. They really do. But they're so worth it. So worth it. Oh, you're crooked. No, don't be crooked. Yeah. I can't. They, they take a lot of yarn. That was my brother-in-law's favorite song when he was a good bully bully. Nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that, Jan. You do beautiful cable work. The healer's gloves that you sent me have such lovely cable work on them. You are welcome. You are welcome. So while you were away, Barbara, we were kind of thinking because it is so costly to send postage and do swaps, we were thinking of doing a um, digital kind of swap. Human beings. <laughs> I was wondering, Kelly, and it's like, pay? Do you have a pay group now? What? Wait a minute. Can you post your group, Kel? Please? Auto corrupt, hun. Auto corrupt. We call it auto corrupt in our world. What size are my letters? These are these ones. I just took a regular piece of paper, folded it in four, and cut out roughly cut out the letters. So they are. I have a ruler someplace. There's my ruler. They are. I don't want to blind you because it's metal. I'd say four and a quarter by two and three quarters at the bottom of the B. So four and a quarter. But of course, once they're decorated, this one's five and a half. But I think they're a lot of fun, you know, like... If I, I'll put a solid paper behind them so you don't see all the other stuff. They're a lot of fun. They're great use of ransom letters. They're colorful. 
And as I say, because I want to do that children's book, I thought that having one of these on the corner of the page or, you know, when, when you've got like a corner of the page. That, that and because I have all these letters and I've been saving them and it's time to use some of my stuff up. I think that's a number one. I don't know why it's in with my L's. I'll just throw that in with my numbers. Thank you, Kel. You rock. You do, you do. So anyway, like I've got no affiliation with, you know, the letters, the glue, anything I use. I just like them. Let's put that out of the way because now I want to stick an L to my B and that's not going to work. And like, I don't really care if they overlap very much either. They're there. Ooh, that's lots of background. I'll put you here and then cover some of that up. Does anybody else collect like this kind of thing? I know that Janet does and she uses them quite often. For some reason, I don't use, I make this stuff and I don't use the stuff that I make. I just did a whack load, and I do mean a whack load, of photocopying of my bits and sent them to Defy so that they can print them and use them in their kits that they send out. Yeah, printer paper <laughs> is is really good. Although, because of all the courses I've taken and everything, I have stacks of paper that's printed on one side. Yeah. What I do is I usually have a line of the text because it's in a word, right? And then I just have all my cups laid out and I just snip into each cup. So they're not necessarily fussy cut. They're just. That's why I have to trim them when I put them down. Got stuff stuck to it. A little L. Let's just use that. Put you here. I'm pretty sure that's an eye. Don't know where my eyes will put in there. So this is this is just a nice relax. I probably could do it if I watched TV, but I don't watch TV. Nice, Sherry. I was looking at getting a new printer, and I've not, you're not. Yeah. This is, it's just mindless, right? Like, I like mindless stuff quite often. I just need to be in a different space mentally. No. 
but I like the idea of the ink tanks. I really do. Because we've got the, the red, yellow, and blue tanks, then a small black one, a big black one. Yeah, I don't, it's, it's really wild. I'm not great when it comes to fussy cutting and it's not something I really like doing. I do have a lot of fussy cut stuff because it's like, well, you're harvesting the magazine, just do it. I don't even use my magazine stuff because I make so much. Like I, I make the majority of my ephemera. And I don't use digi kits or um, things like that. I think I need a little one in here. And then I think I could call this one done. I like this one. Yep. But I got lots of those. But I mean, you know, there are some days I... I I don't do glue, but I think I should because I cut out like real little L's like that. I, I don't know why I do that. I just don't understand. Look, another one. Hmm. Okay. You're not having luck picking up these little ones. Come, come, come. Nice. You'll have to send me the recipe, Jan. Is that for going on the crepes? Is that a crepe filling, Jan? Okay, so I'm going to consider my L is done. I'll put all these back in the cup. So are you bored with my uh, letter gluing yet? Should I start organizing some of my stuff into envelopes? My hand's not happy. Just a test. So what's it for, Jen? It's, is it like an ice cream or, and did you use cream cream? Could I use plain yogurt? Okay, so that's silly letter things. I got one done, yay. Maybe if I do one a day, I'll be good. I use, um, not peanut butter, almond butter. Almond butter. All right. So we're going to start arranging these things. These, these envelope thing jobbers. So I have ice cream, just fruit. So it's like a sherbet. No, a sherbet would be like clear then, right? They, you make that out of juice. I'll have to see it. So I make these little poachy bag things. Sorbet, that's the word. Sorbet. find a nice picture in the magazine and you just chop it up and you make a little poachy bag out of it. Great for tucking into journals. So those can go in one of these. Oh, look at how good that works. I can see them. 
let's not have any glare. And it's, yeah, I like, I think I'm going to like this. Then I've got some belly bands, only a couple of them, but still. I guess these will end up going on the gel plate. When I was doing my umbrellas, I did a cute couple of cute little belly bands. I have more belly bands someplace. They're all over the place. But I like having these kinds of things finished so I can just use them up and... Oh, what did I throw on the floor? So I made these little book plate kind of things. But see, I even have to keep them in a plastic bag in there because some of the things are little. So I copied a bunch of book plates and just did little doodle things on them. Oh, all my decorated tickets. Lots of decorated tickets. Oh, losing sequins from my decorated. Look at this. If you see something you want me to slow down and show, I can. I, I really like this. I can see them. I don't know where that sequin came from. I'm just going to dump it in the bin. In the envelope. And I can spread them out a little bit this way too. They're still kind of bunchy at the bottom. But that's okay. Because it's a good couple of inches bigger than this, they're not going to be quite as bulky, I don't think. I go on these mass making binges, right? So I have stuff. Buildings, you know, my little buildings. Oh, and I've got building tucks. So these are just buildings glued together. A bit bigger buildings glued together. Bigger buildings. And you know, I had them in alphabetical order because I couldn't see what was in them. This way I can just have, it doesn't matter. I can just have them and flip. I'll have to. Uh, I got some love buds. My little critters. So these. Envelopes only come in 50 per package, only. But I think I should have enough with 50. I'm hoping. I did a whole bunch of paper buttons. I did them from a gel print, um, or maybe it was a painty paper looking at it. So I've got paper buttons. I have all kinds of things, Jen. I see something. I like it. I have to make it. And I make a bazillion of them. And then it's like, okay, I've got them. Ah, the cellophane from this envelope is a little stack too. And the cats I made the other day. A clouder of cats. I do have all kinds of things. 
have chickens. All my chickens. I have more chickens somewhere. I know that for a fact. But they haven't made it into this organization yet. I still have probably eight or nine boxes of stuff that I need to go through. I have doodled bits. So what I had done was <laughs> I'd um, just little bits of paper. You know, I was using up all my construction paper, that kind of thing. So I took a handful of them upstairs and just doodled on them. So I have lots of like stuff with just little doodles on. I really need to make some journals, ladies. I don't use dryer sheets. I'm allergic to them. But that would be an idea. Some I stamped on. Some I doodled on. Most of them are just doodled. And these I just use randomly throughout journals, just as a little bit of whimsy. Or if I ran a piece of dryer sheet, I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. And then I've got doodled negative bits where you know how you do all your uh, die cuts. I saved this, this part, the other part of it, and I doodle on them. And I use those in journals and things too. Oh, okay, fine. You want to be on the table? We'll be on the table. Also, if I'm sitting out in the greenhouse getting some sun, I'll take something like this out and doodle and play while I'm sitting out in the warmth. And we've got corner tucks. A variety of corner tucks. Hand painted, collaged. I did tuck the envelope flaps inside the envelopes. I figured they would get in the way if I had them. You know, that's not too bad. That's, you know, Really not as bulky as I thought it would be because I guess folding <clears throat> sorry folding up these papers takes up space as well. Oh feathers, feathers, feathers. I don't have very many feathers. And I'm not going to label these label these envelopes because some things I think once I use them up, I may not replace. I'm still on the mask making thing from when I sell, sold my work. This one is doodled words. These are just fun words. Sing, joy. I did a, a on one of my earlier videos, I showed how I do these. These are a lot of fun. And my fences. I like putting these little fences on a page. And then putting some little birds or snowman something with them. like having fences around. And then I've got fence posts. 
I've got more fence posts somewhere else as well because I like having those around. Now, <sighs> hmm. is it just me? Like, seriously, is it just me? Or do you, any of you have this kind of amount of stuff? These are the fish that I have finished. They actually have faces and gills and I've used pencil crayon on. I have a bin of fish that need to be finished, but that's just a doodle for when I'm not doing much. You know, I kind of like them behind that. It almost looks like an aquarium. Hmm. I might have to do maybe like an aquarium journal. That could be fun. And then I've got clusters that I did with my fish. I used a little bit of onion bag and the fish. It's got a little mini folded envelope with a little tag here, fishy, fishy, or gone fishing. So I have fish clusters as well. These are all things just for, you know, looking for something, a little bit of whimsy to shove in a journal. Then I've got flowers. I have flowers everywhere. Oh, these are my painted flowers. Painted and cut out. When I was cleaning, I came across these ones. These ones are hand done too. So I've got all these ones. I think they're just going to go in this one as well. Lots of flowers. Oh, see, I'm starting to get that tippy pile thing because it's full at the bottom. And then these are flowers that, because I scanned these ones in, I cut some out. So I always had a big, you know what? Do I put them with the originals? No, they'll have to go in a different envelope. Hi, how are you, Malia? Lurking and listening. I am, I was playing, playing down some letters. I was working on letters for the Goonie Bird book I want to do. But then I started organizing because. I, I don't know what I've got, and I've got a big mess of things. So I have all my picture frame things that I also like just throwing in journals. These are just cutouts from gel prints. I think I'm going to go through this whole stack of 50 envelopes. That's not a good thing, ladies. We need to do something about this. I need to do something about this. I have to stop making stuff and start using it. Envelope of frames. I did empty a shoe box so that I could put them in the shoe box because, but that's awfully big. All the boxes that my husband had built me are just a little bit like this size. It didn't work. Oh, I'm sure your girls would have had a lot of fun helping you. I've tried to get my grandkids to help me. Yeah, nope. It's more a case of, oh, I really like this. Can I have it? You know. Okay. So I've got some Goonie Birds that I printed. I scanned and printed, so they're...
Unibirds. Oh, I've got just blank ones. I have these words that I just did. What I did was, I don't know if you were here when I talked about them. I did a lot of hot glue gun flowers and words and things. I don't know how well you can see that. It's upside down. Anyway, I put them on paper and, and I spritzed alcohol ink around them. Oh, no. I saw your lovely amount of tea dyed papers. And these are fussy cut bits. So, you know what? They're not even going to go in with my handmade stuff. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You can stay there. I did print out a whack load of little labels and I fussy cut them all out. Those can go in an envelope. Third batch. Wow. I like doing them when my greenhouse is empty. And then I dry them in the greenhouse because it doesn't take very long. I've got my postage. Well, I have to stop making stuff because I'm running out of envelopes. So I have to start using some of this stuff up. Postage. Oh, I've got tips and flips. I don't know if these need to be in an envelope. These were one of my day projects from my 100 day challenge. See, I used some fence post, painted some cats on them. But they're flip outs. I don't know that they need to be in here. I think they can just go in one of those other ones. Okay, I'll have to check that out, Sherry. That's magazine stuff. Magazine stuff. Okay, what's all this stuff? I have... Okay, ladies. Ladies, ladies. I need some feedback here. So far, everything I've done has been relatively completed work. I just have to take it and glue it in, right? But I have all my little bits cut out for postage stamps. Uh, do you, I don't think I should put them in there because these are like, this is going to be ready to glue. I can just grab and go. Let's put my fairy houses in there too, because they're done. Yeah, I think it confuses the purpose, too, because this is going to be flip through, grab, use, done. I have more hoses someplace. I know I've got more hoses someplace. Okay, so those need to be finished as well. I also have blurb. 
word blurb things. So I won't put those in either. I have another card that doesn't go in. Again, I used my fence post. I must have something to like orange with. I mean, I hand painted the cats, but the birds were from a gel print. I have these quilt squares, these paper quilt squares that I did. I think I would like to doodle on them first. What do you think, ladies? Do I need to doodle on them? I think I need to doodle on them. I don't consider those done. I have all my rubbings. Those can go in an envelope. Oh, those fit nicely in these envelopes, too. Okay, what else have I got? I've got these little patchy. I'm going to put those with the flowers. Flowers, flowers, where are you? There they are. In with the flowers they go. That works. That works. Anne had asked if I ever used zippers and things, so I played with this and added a zipper. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's probably just going to go in an envelope. Look, I've got belly bands. Remember my belly bands? Okay. I have to have... Those have to get filed with the belly bands. This is a mini junk. Why is this stuff in here? Lots of belly bands. See, I do stuff and I just shove them in there because I was organized at the time. More belly bands. I have embossed tissue paper. I don't know that I would should have that in there either. Flowers that need finishing. I have no idea what half, why I've got half this stuff in here. I have paper reinforcements. What I do is when I have, I use loose leaf on the gel plate. If there's paint on the holes, I cut the holes out and use them as reinforcements. If I'm doing tags... Yeah, one of my daughter's cats really likes plastic, too. So even though it's just this little bit of stuff, I know I have more of this someplace. It's just going to make it so much easier. Com uh, coloring book stuff. I have all this little confetti things from little tiny punches. I have to put those in there. I have Tetris squares. Nope. I do have my envelope clusters. Well, this desk doesn't look like it's getting any cleaner. I've got envelopes and envelope clusters. We'll just put them in there anyway. Actually, I have... I have sheet protector full of this stuff. I'll put that with those. Yeah, that would work. So I've got these. I did this on one of my streams too, using up napkin bits on construction paper. So I've got these little ovals just to tuck on things. 
I think that's this week we're going to, on use day afternoon, we're going to use some of this stuff. I'm going to make, I, I don't want to make tags. I've got a lot of tags. I think maybe I'll pull out some journal pages and just glue a bunch of stuff and get a journal started. I also have these. These two were cut out of construction paper. I edged them with green muck water and put stamps on them. I had another one in front here. I'm going to put those in an envelope. Now my problem is, ladies, is do I just start adding this stuff to one of the journals that I've got, like one of these journals. The cover isn't complete, but all the pages have a little bit of glued stuff on. They've got painted papers and gel prints and what have you. Do I just turn this into a working journal with this stuff that I'm using? Or do I fold paper and start a new journal page by page? Throw some ideas at me, please. Because, because, because. Then I have these tags that I did. I painted around the edges of them and then stamped them with a little ivy stamp that I've got. I did these four or five years ago. Why have I not used them? A <laughs> new journal or I could. I could. I definitely could. I have a bin of pages to use. For journals. These are just bits and stuff cut out of magazines. Got a couple of the tickets that I did. Thought I had another one in here. I don't know why they're just loose in there either. That's fussy cuts. That's magazine stuff. That's magazine stuff. Okay, so this now is. I didn't. Why are you in there? I made some little dangly charm things out of a hole punch, a bling thing, yarn, piece of wood, piece of wood, piece of wool. Why are they in here? <laughs> Ladies, I have problems. Okay, so maybe what I'll do now is because those are labeled, maybe I can use them for my fussy cuts. And I don't know. I, I don't know. I printed out these tickets. You can get tickets for Microsoft Word. And you could do them whatever way. You can you put whatever you want on them. They're like blank tickets. It's a template. That's what I'm trying to say. So I've got a house hippo fundraiser. Do you remember the house hippos? The the commercial with the house hippos? It's a Canadian thing. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome, Jan. Make it really Canadian. So I've got house hippo fundraiser and then mar margarita fundraiser tickets. I want to see, too. I'm going to have to go on IG. There. Those can go in there. Okay. Let's grab the tablet and start up IG and see Sherry's journal cover.
I've got you on IG, don't I, Sherry? No, the house hippo, there was a commercial way, way, way back when, Barbara, where, like, if you check it out on YouTube, put in house hippo commercial, it's about this little hippo that cleans your house while you're sleeping kind of thing, But it and it's a, a Canadian thing, right? So, I had to have a house hippo. Sorry, Sherry, what's your... IG address, hun. I don't know that I've got you. You're welcome, Barbara. I have just a little stone orange. Okay, I will, I will look you up here. We'll search you out and make sure we're connected. Gotcha. So... Is it the owl? I don't know if you can see it. Let's turn this light out. I can see it. You can't see it. My big overhead lights are... Let's turn the big overhead lights out and see if we can show off Sherry's stuff here. Ooh, it's dark. Okay. Was it that one? Sherry? Oh, that's beautiful. Can you guys see? Mermaid? Okay, those are old ones. I'm just scrolling through your pictures. Showing off your stuff here. Can you see? Without a glare. Okay. It's not the owl. Sherry, is that the owl that's the new one? I only have seven pictures. The lace and the dangles. This one. And the... Dragonflies? That one? Is my screen too dirty? IG doesn't seem to come up in order for me. This one? Remember and Paradise. I love that one. It's got a camera and flowers. This one.
No, that's 2017. 2018. Why don't I have any new posts? Well, that's annoying. I only have those seven. Here's Shannon's. I don't, I don't know. Leona Jean Beck. That's weird. Really weird. I don't No, I I maybe it'll come up later. For some reason I seem to get things a little bit later than other times. It's it's really very strange. You can always post it in my group. I would love to see it. I don't know if you're part of my group or not, but you're welcome to post it in my group. These are sticky labels. I guess I would just stamp on them and maybe a little bit of paint and put them in. I have index cards. I have a whole bunch of little stamped bits. Those can go in an envelope. Or you can always post it in Kells if you're in Kells group and Jan's joining Kells group. I've got these library card holder things. I don't know where I got them from. I think I got them in some happy mail. They all need decorating. Then I've got all these labels. I'm just going to put those out of nowhere. This is my dilemma. I have stuff and I have it all mixed up together, obviously, because I had things to glue straight in and things that need to be finished. And, oh, look, I've got umbrellas that have to go in. I'm just down to these little umbrellas. I have more someplace else, but I did these ones. These uh, umbrellas. Umbrellas are always fun. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys being here and talking me through some of this organization. So these are the envelopes I now have that are full. Not full, but they're all in use with stuff. So that's going to be easier for me to flip through. I need to find a different box that will work with them, but that's okay. I'm sure I have a box. These ones I am going to use for things like this, the library card holders, things that need to be done. And then what I think I will do is on a used day afternoon, I will grab one of these and that's what I'll work on. That sounds good to me. So I am going to fold this the other way so that then I'm going to put these in there. And you know what? I'm not going to label them so that I'm just going to grab them and it's going to be a mystery. And that's what we're going to do. 
I like it. Those ones are already magazine things cut out. So, yep, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these and these index cards and we're going to put them. Maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll number them. And then on Tuesday, when it's Tuesday afternoons, I'll say, give me a number between one and whatever. I like that idea. And then we'll just count from the front to back. And then I have to use them and put them away all finished and stick them in a journal or something. Stay. I have all kinds of these things and, and they're just everywhere. I've got little cups of my little flowers and things. You sent it to Messenger? Thank you, Sherry. I will grab it this way. Come. We'll get rid of that. And we'll go to Messenger. That is beautiful. Oh, Sherry, I love it. I love it. That is gorgeous. You like dangly things too. I love dangly things. Did you see that, everybody? Did you see that picture? I kind of went really fast there. I'll show it again. Can you see it without a glare? Wow, I really like that. Beautiful, beautiful. I love dragonflies. But for some reason, I don't have any dragonflies. I haven't made any dragonflies, and I don't know why. I guess I should do that. Okay, so I've got these Tetris blocks. I don't know. The, I've got them all cut out. Not sure exactly what I want to do with them. Maybe I could color them in or doodle on them and put them on a page and kind of build yeah barbara <laughs> yes yes they do and it's like oh where did that come from so i'll put those flowers in because they're not done I really like the idea of doing mystery things. I really do. It's almost like a prompt game, but different, you know? I've got prompt cards, too. I can always do a prompt game with some of these. Got lots of little postage things to do. It's going to be fun. It's 
going to be fun. I don't think I will put things like tags or anything like that in there because I have so many tags. If I started one Tuesday afternoon, I would still be doing it a month from now, every day for a month. Oh, look, I've got my yarn dots that I did and the blanks for yarn dots. I'm going to put those in an envelope. See, Sherry, Barbara, we need to get together for coffee and I can bring you stuff. <laughs> we could do that kind of thing that uh, Dana and Beth and Becca do where we give each other an envelope with 10 items in. And we each have the same thing. And then we have to do something and show it. That could be fun. What else have I got? I've got bags of stuff on my desk. Really. Bags of stuff. Oh, I've got these. I had been watching Seven Plaza. Margaret at Seven Plaza. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And on her channel, she was doing these little cluster things that dangle. Here we go with the dangles, right? She was putting like little stickers on and doing them almost like labels. They were really, really cute. So I had so much scrap stuff, I decided to make some. And then when I went to the post office, my post dude said well you can't send metal through the mail to the states anymore because i had was going to put them on bulb pins because she had them on bulb pins and i thought that was really kind of weird but i've got all these little dangly things that i would like to enhance with some bits you know do a little cluster on one stamps on the other kind of thing but I don't think that I want to put them all in one of these because I have a bazillion of them. Really, I have lots. So how about if I take like five of these and put them in one of these for a used day afternoon thing? Three, four, five. And we could do that one Tuesday afternoon. And then these can go on the shelf somewhere and get forgotten about again. I mean, they can go in a journal just as they are. They're cute. You know, just a little dangly thing. I, I strung them all. But they could go just in a journal just as they are. I did the edges with a, one of those edging scissors. Oh, see, this one has been used twice already. I'll have to put a label on that piece of tape over that. It would be amazing. I would love to get amazing and have a play date. I really, really would. Just have to go, I you know, arrange it for when the highways aren't so bad. I don't like the icky highways. So I've got those little things for flowers. And then I've got stuff everywhere. I was cutting out magazine, not magazine, these are calendar numbers and whatever, squares from calendars. So my kids were here, my grandkids were here. They have twisted sense of humor and they're saying, well, mom, Grammy, you like whimsy? Let's add some stuff to them. So I've got like water the neighbor's car. 
read a poem in Swahili. You know how you write on your calendar to do these things, right? Rap at the cat. So these, these two are just like little random blurby things to glue into journals. Wombat riding at 11.22 on the 27th. And I have a jar full of them. So those are just going to go in an envelope. You can guess which side of the family that's from, Jen. Or even which which of my kids' families that is. Well, mind you, both my sets of grandkids can do things like that. So all kinds of like little calendar bits, months, whatever. Ready to glue in. Fun stuff. Ready to go. Empty cup. Woo! We're getting someplace. We are getting someplace. Then I've got all these little things just to glue down on. I've got these, like I say, these belly bands. I have, what else have I got? So I can put in those and get them off my shelf so that I have a bazillion in one of these. These are, I watercolored on some paper and then I doodled on them. Like the ones I showed at the beginning of the, but I used powdered watercolor for this and they're very chalky. The other ones that I was working on, I used liquid, liquid tempera. But I have probably a couple of hundred of these. In an envelope they go. And I, then I have an empty bin. Maybe they need to stay in a bin. That's a lot of them. Okay, they can stay in a bin. It's too much for an envelope. All right, all right, all right. And then I've got a bin full of these. These are my muck collages where you spritz your stuff with muck water and you do stenciling on them and then you can stamp on them and then you chop them all up and make little clusters out of them. Yes, 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 you should, you should, that would be awesome. I would gladly share and we could make something. That would be a lot of fun. I have the room. I have the space. That would be really, really cool. Paper clips. I've got all your paper clips. But like I've got bins of complete stuff too, right? This stuff can't go in envelopes because... There's just lots. And then I have bins of tags. Oh, look, there are belly bands in here. Let's put all the belly bands in the envelope. But I have tags and flips and I did this, that envelope thing. And inchies and twinchies. And tags. 
like pocket stuffing things. I have lots of stuff, guys. You could probably come and with a naked journal and decorate it. Look. These are all complete tags and journaling cards. You know? Just stuff. <laughs> Pretty much, you can do that. See, this stuff, it, it, I've got so much, it doesn't even stay in the bins anymore. Use the van, Barbara. Use the van. Then I've got this one too, you know, like stuff. I have lots and lots of bits, guys. I really need somebody here to play with. Then I have a whole bunch of stars. I've got two finished, but I've got a bin full of stars that need to be decorated. I've got a couple more of these ready to be decorated. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. It'll be fun. We could do it on one of the afternoons, maybe, that I do a live. And we can, I can clear the desk so that we can all have hands on the desk and the camera in the middle. I think that would be fun. Awesome. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to put these word blurb things in there because you can always put stuff like is on the calendar squares. You can put some snark on them. Some sayings, some quotes. Jan, isn't today brunch day? Or is that next weekend? It would be a fun adventure. I just have to know that you're able to do stairs because I'm in the basement. But then I could bring stuff up and be like a mystery. Ooh, what's she bringing up now? These are going with the belly band. Jan, are you coming out this summer? It'd be fun if Jan could join us too. Belly Dan. Getting fuller, guys. But it's getting somewhere. I am getting somewhere.
Yeah. I think Jan was planning on coming out this summer. So it would be a blast. We could have a lot of fun. But I think that we should get together and have a crafternoon or something. While I have you ladies here, I feel kind of safe with you ladies here. I have this old Andy Cap comic strip book. Now, this this is from I when I was a teenager, probably around eh, let's say when we when was this published? 1969. So I wasn't even quite a teenager. But if either of you could have our own retreat, we certainly could. We really could. It'd be nice to do it in the sum summer. Um, then we could be out in the yard even and, and have, you know, a nice cup of tea and Anyway, we, we can definitely plan something like that. So this is an old Andy Cap, But it's not politically correct. Hi, Curzo. Welcome, welcome. Just kind of... How far away from Maine am I? Um... I'm right above Minnesota and North Dakota, Kel. So you're on the East Coast. We're halfway between the East and West. Yeah, I know. I know. I know you guys talk about doing retreats down there, and, and you guys are kind of closer than... I'm thrilled to find people who live so close to me. So back to this silly book. I would like to do a journal with some of this stuff, but I don't know that I would do an entire comic strip with it. You're not outdoorsy? Okay. I have a lovely uh, greenhouse gazebo thing we could be in too. So this isn't really politically correct because it's from 1969, but it's what I grew up with. So, and, and some of the single things are kind of fun, right? Like the entire comic strip could be off the, um, like I say, not correct. But just one of the things would work. Do you think I should use this and do cards or something with them? Or do you think it's a bit controversial? But Kel, we could always do it so that we're online and have a, a group thing where you could join us. True, Barbara. True. But I mean, this this is so old. It's falling apart. And like I say, I was thinking even just, you know, one square out of the comic. So anyway, I'm thinking of using those. Because I don't have enough stuff 
to use. Pam, we started out with my ransom letter letters. I wanted to do these and use them in my Goonie Bird kids book. So we started out doing that, but then I showed off these wonderful envelopes that I got. And so we've been organizing and going through so much of my bits and pieces, but I wanted it because these envelopes, because it's so much easier to see what I've got than having them in these blue papers that I have. So the ladies have been egging me on and, and helping me do some sorting. It would be fun to do things together. Like I have done a crochet one with Cal, and I've done a crochet one with Pam. And I didn't teach Pam how to do picots properly. I noticed when she was working on her scarf. Another wasn't. You didn't have the right topping, or they don't like waffles, Pam. Next Sunday is brunch. Okay. Oh, yeah. I had my grandson here for supper yesterday. He's 17 years old. Um, lives on his own. Appreciates being cooked for. He needs to do an oil change on his car. So they'll be working on the car next week and doing the oil change. He asked me if I could do an Easter egg hunt for him. Oh, just being a teenager? Yes, yes, they would. Kids. <laughs> so he asked me to do an Easter egg hunt for him. So I have to make an Easter egg hunt for next weekend, and I'm really looking forward to it because it's been a while since I've done it. Hi, Don. Welcome, welcome. I was playing ransom letters in the beginning, and then I got carried away organizing and we're just kind of chatting and thinking of things. Um, Barbara and Sherry live very close to me. So we were kind of throwing an idea of getting together and doing a craft afternoon in person, which would be very, very cool and be kind of like a retreat, as Sherry said. Jan isn't coming to Winnipeg this summer, but um, possibly next year. Oh, nice. You have bees. That's awesome. Very awesome. What do you do with your bee wax? Do you use it for candles and that kind of thing? Crafting with it for sure. Uh, I saw, I don't know if I've got it really handy, but I did, oh, rats. I don't know where it is. It should be here. Like, I saw it just recently, but that doesn't mean anything in my organizational life. What the lady did was she took her prints like, um, say you printed out that uh, sewing mannequin, the body, what are they called? I, there's a word for them. But anyway, there's like stamps. So you would stamp it on a piece of paper, and then she dipped it in the beeswax and pulled it out in the melted beeswax and pulled it out, and it gave it like an old-time oil paper finish because it was so very, very thin. So she just kind of dipped it and then put it on crumpled up plastic bags to dry. But it's such a nice effect. And it smells wonderful because I love the smell of beeswax. 
it looked so old and so nice. So I've done that with beeswax, but they have to be sewn down. Right? Like I haven't found a glue that holds it. You did some last year? Those are stunning. Those are really, really nice antique looking papers. Oh my. Yeah, very frustrating, Pam. I mean, when my grandkids ask me something like that, I do it because I'm the Grammy and I can get away with it. But my kids didn't have that choice. They ate whatever was put on the table. I think they probably roll their eyes when their kids are here and they want this and they want that. And I cook restaurant style for them. Because I, I don't want to fight at the table. I'm, I'm too old to have fights at my table anymore. So yeah, we started with this, went to these wonderful envelopes that I found. I will be putting a link below at the end of the stream. I got them from Amazon. They're a little bit more expensive than, but I, I needed something because this, this system just wasn't working for me with everything that I do. So then I'm turning this one into bits of things that need to be completed and used up. So we're going to use this for my use day crafter noon videos where I pull one of these blue folder things out and whatever happens to be in them is what I work with on Tuesdays. Maybe not every Tuesday afternoon, because sometimes I like to come up with something or I have an idea about something. Well, yeah, but it's not just the English sense of humor, Jan. I think that there's, there's because he's, he's a drinker, right? He would go to the pub all the time and... Some of the conversations between him and his wife or him and his friends aren't. Thanks, Dawn. Take care. I'm glad you popped in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I don't know that that kind of sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. Take care, Dawn. See you in your video soon. You're right. I do have enough stuff to use, but I have all these other things that I have to use, too. We've got all the... Um, like my dad's old woodworking textbook things that I've been turning into art journals. But I've also got ones that I haven't done anything with. So it's got this kind of illustration in, which is wonderful for using for backgrounds on tags and cards and stuff. Oh, did I glue these together? You know, so it's got like all this kind of old information. And I've got a lot of books like this that I need to do something with, right? I need somebody that wants some of this, this you know, close by so that I don't have to pay shipping. I can just go, here you go. 
You're welcome, Dawn. So, yeah. Plus, I've got, like, all these old slide things. So, I was making little... Um, nutcracker tags. And they're cute, so I want to make more, but I just haven't. But I designed the pattern, and so I've got things like that. And I've got a bin here of more flowers and leaves because I do all those floral card things. I've got puzzle pieces with holes punched in them that I use for buttons and things. You know, I've got, I, I've got. All right, Barbara. Awesome, awesome. Seriously, I am more than welcome to share this stuff. Um, it probably happened while you were away, Barbara. My next door neighbor is moving. And she has been a foster mom for over 20 years. So she's had various kids throughout the time that she's lived here. But she had six of those big, tall plastic drawer things. And she asked if I wanted them for my craft supplies, selling them for five bucks each. I said, sure. So I bought all six of them. I had no idea that they were coming full of her craft supplies. So I was looking forward to getting some organization happening. But now I had to integrate stuff with stuff I already have, obviously. I have been, like, my desk and table were at a low roar. But I have a ways to go. And she had these paint things. They are Elmer's paint. And they're fun. I bet they're a tempera paint, but they've got these plastic brush bristles and those red stripes that I doodled on that I was showing at the beginning of my stream, these ones, I used those Elmer's things for doing these. So that, you know. But now I'm making more of this. And I already have that whole bin of those kinds of things. I have to make things. I, I can't explain it. I just have a compulsion to make stuff and hoard it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we definitely need to set up a play date, ladies. We really, really do. Really do. We're getting snow for the next few days. So I won't be coming to town at all with the snow. I made a whole stack of these. I don't know where they are. This is, this is, you know. Let's do this stack of stuff. Then I have things like this. Also full of bits. Our co-op grocery store was giving away that air dry clay, so I used it to make full wax seals. So I have a bin of this. 
I decorated a whole stack of twinchies, so those are ready to go into something. Those should go in an envelope because in here I don't see them, so I don't use them. Then I've got little tags. These were done on clothing tags, so they're more like charms. They're really thick and heavy. I've got the envelopes, lots of little envelopes. I've got woven paper and some more of the uh, brown paper doodle bits. I have little mini card or journal cover things. Seriously, there's something wrong with me. I have little things to glue down. Okay, I'm southeast. Um, so if you went from downtown Winnipeg, maybe 40 minutes. If you were doing from Transcona, I'm only about 20, 25 minutes from Transcona. You were in St. Adolph getting your sewing machine repaired. I'm comparable to that. A little bit farther than that, but south. They're more southeast. No, more south. I'm more southeast. I'm between Winnipeg and Steinbeck, if that helps. So, I've, I've you know, I've got, these are tech spots, you know, glue them in. <laughs> I, I have stuff, frames with little cluster things. Yeah, it is a piece of cake. Let's set a date. I can send my email address to Sherry through Messenger, and she can share it with you. We could do phone numbers or whatever you feel comfortable with in that. And let's set a date to play. Yes, no? I was joking with Sherry saying, yeah, next time I'm in, I'm in Winnipeg, I'm just going to stop by your place with a box of stuff for you. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that. I will send Sherry my phone number and, and email address, and we'll start figuring something out because I think that would be... Yeah, those tags are cute, but they're really thick, so they're more like charms. If you put them inside a journal... They've got a lot of bulk to them. I really try not to. I lie. I try not to have bulk in my journals, but it happens. You're close to Health Science Center? Yeah? Okay. We used to live on Burroughs in Kuwait and before we moved out here. We've been out here for 30 years. But we both worked in Winnipeg until we retired, so... We drove back and forth every day. You're in Garden City? Awesome. My dentist is in Garden City. My dentist is on Jefferson and McPhillips. Well, Jefferson just west of McPhillips, behind the Freshco. So we could even meet somewhere around that area and do coffee and figure things out. Oh, 
Okay, Sherry. So then Barbara would have to pick you up if that was okay with Barbara. Or we meet somewhere closer to where Sherry is. The one of us can just grab her and, and go and have coffee or come out here, whatever. I have a kitchen table down here that we could sit at and create at. It's, you know, I've got, I have space where we can create. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, I have been online for two hours. Kel, are you still here? Yeah, we'll definitely have to plan especially with weather coming up and Barbara saying she's got busy stuff happening. You were working on the Afghan, but you said you got yarn for something else. I forgot to ask what you were making with your something else yarn. Crochet hook holder. Okay. So you're doing like a strip with pockets or whatever to put them in? And you have a pattern for them. I'm just curious. Magic marker holder. Okay. That works too. Perfect. And Pam, you're on the second half of your scarf. Late May, no problem. Take care. Thanks for coming, Barbara. We will figure something out. You found the pattern on YouTube? I just found a pattern for something, for crocheting sunflowers that were really pretty. Okay, send me the link. I'm good with that. Pam, are you still here? Thanks, Jerry. Take care. I will send you contact info and, and we'll start planning, planning. See you very soon. Did Pam desert us? I want to know how far she got on her second half of her scarf. Okay, single crochet works in on itself. That's cool. Awesome. I guess Pam has deserted us. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry if it was boring today, but I really appreciate you talking me through. Okay. You know, I'm willing to give you a hand and let me know when works. We could do the same kind of thing on StreamYard and work it out that way. More than willing to give you a hand with that. If you want to start it before you finish the Afghan, 
that's fine too. Just let me know what works good for you. Pam and I did last Tuesday morning, and I know that you prefer Wednesday morning, so... Okay, finish the afghan first. Good for you. You're dedicated. I need to finish things. That's why I started the Finish It Fridays. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of things finished. Okay, Pat, uh, Jan, love you, hon. Talk to you soon. You can see the end. Excellent. Well, let me know when you get the Afghan done and when you want to start that and we can play for sure, for sure. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks, everybody, for being here. You're doing wax seals with wax wax or something different? Because I've seen people do them with hot glue as well. I just, I don't need to make any. I have lots and I haven't used them. Go figure. Okay. Plastic. All right. Cool. Thank you very much. Love you guys all. Talk to you very soon. I stream again on Tuesday. I will put the link for the envelopes below. And you know how to reach me. Bye.